Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Now this is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Stick around to the end for highlights from Google Cloud Next. But first, Android P Beta 4 is now available. It's the final preview update before we launch the official Android P platform later this summer and includes a release candidate build with final system behaviors and the official Android P APIs. Head on over to the post linked in the description below to wrap up your testing in time for the official release. Chrome 68 is now available and includes several updates for developers, including add to home screen changes, the page lifecycle API, the payment handler API, and more. Details are on the post. Dialogflow recently introduced several new beta features to expand conversational capabilities for customer support and contact centers. Head on over to the post for details and screenshots of knowledge connectors, automatic spelling correction, and phone gateway. The Go team at Google recently released a new open source project called Go Cloud. It's a library and tools for developing on the open cloud to help you build portable cloud applications. Take a look at the post for details of how it works and how to get involved. Google Cloud Next 2018 was last week in San Francisco, California. There were a ton of announcements. Here's just a few highlights. Cloud Build is a fully managed continuous integration and continuous delivery platform that lets you build and test applications in the cloud at scale. We're connecting GitHub with Cloud Build to provide fast, frictionless, and convenient CI for any repository on GitHub. Updates to our serverless compute stack include new App Engine runtimes, Cloud Functions general availability, and serverless containers on Cloud Functions. New database features along with partnerships, beta news, and other improvements can help you get the most out of your databases. Transparent SLIs or service level indicators give you fine-grained detail about the behavior of Google Cloud Platform services as related to your workloads. And BigQuery ML, which is a new capability inside BigQuery that enables you to build and deploy machine learning models on massive structured or semi-structured datasets. And there was a lot more, but don't worry if you couldn't be at the event. Just head on over to the Google Cloud YouTube channel, linked in the description below, for all the keynote and session videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. You know you need unique New York rubber baby buggy bumpers.